Hey guys, so today we are going to make this in Blender. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into a new scene. We'll delete the basics. Press Shift A and add an Icosphere. Add a couple of subdivisions. Right click Shade Smooth. Go ahead and add a plane. Shift A plane. Scale it by 2 and rotate it along the Y axis R Y 90 and move it along the X axis by 8 G X 8. The next thing we'll do is we'll add a camera. Press Shift A camera. Now hit the tilde key, go into the front view and press Ctrl Alt 0 to snap our camera into the view. Now go ahead into the output properties and change the resolution to around 2000 pixels. Now before we hop into our main shader, we need to do two things. We need to enable our node wrangler add-on and we need to enable our displacement. So first go into edit, preferences, add-ons and type in node wrangler and enable it. The next we need to hop in into our render properties and switch from EV to cycles. We'll go ahead and resample our viewport count and then let's hop in into our shaders panel. Here select the object and hit new. We'll give this a name. Now head on over into the material properties and under settings select displacement and bump okay so we are all set up we'll head on into our camera view the first thing we need to add is a noise texture press shift a search noise select the noise texture and press ctrl t for our node wrangler add-on select the object and plug it into our vector of noise texture we won't be needing this mapping node so we'll go ahead and delete it we we'll also be needing a color ramp shift a search color ramp color into the base color to preview this press ctrl shift and click and in our viewport press the z key and head on into our material preview so this is what our noise texture looks like right now the next thing we will do is add some colors to our rock before we do that we need to duplicate this node for our roughness so press ctrl shift d and plug it into the roughness we'll take the white slider to around 0.55 we'll add these colors to our color ramp that goes into the base color We'll go in and adjust it. Let's add some detail. The next thing we need to do is add some bump. Go ahead and press Shift A search bump. Plug the factor into the height and the normal into the normal. We'll go ahead and duplicate this bump by pressing Shift D and we'll get a Voronoi texture. Shift A search Voronoi and we'll also get a color ramp. Plug the distance into the factor, color into the height, and adjust the white values to around 0.35. And plug the normal into the normal socket. To preview this, let's go ahead and control shift click on the color ramp, press Z, and go into the material preview. Let's adjust the scale to around 10. We'll also be needing a texture coordinate as well. So shift D to duplicate and plug the object into the vector. Now we need to break this Voronoi texture since it is so uniform. So we'll go ahead and get a noise texture and oops, we'll also get a mix RGB node and plug it between the texture coordinate and the Voronoi texture. We'll plug the noise texture into the color 2 and we'll set the mode to mix. We need to set our values to around 0.95 and 
let's get the noise scale to around 10 detail to around 16 and get some distortion going this bump feeds into this bump let's go ahead and preview what it looks like let's go ahead and frame this by selecting all the nodes and press ctrl j hit the n key under node let's label this as rock we can also give it a color if we need to now this is basically our rock texture so now that our rock texture is ready we need to add a glow texture so for that we'll be needing a new principled bsdf so press shift is search principled bsdf we'll go ahead and add a noise texture change the scales to 10 and go ahead and add some distortion we'll also add a color ramp plug the factor into the factor and then we will use this color plug it into the base color as well as the emission and put our emission strength to around 100 now we'll go ahead and add some colors to our glow you can copy these hex codes for the glow texture we'll go ahead and adjust the values a bit and let's go ahead and preview what it looks like still too dark the next thing we need is to add a bump node shift a search for bump and then go ahead use the color into the height and plug the normal into the normal so this is what it looks like now let's go ahead and frame this as well press ctrl j let's rename this glow okay so now we have our ground rock texture and a glow texture now we need to mix these two materials for that we'll be needing a mask now before we do that we'll go ahead and search for a mix shader node and add this between the two shaders so the factor will be controlling our mask let's go ahead and add a color ramp as well as a noise we'll be using the node wrangler add-on here as well we'll delete the mapping node and plug the object coordinates into the vector and put the factor into the factor we'll change the scale to around 3 the detail to around 3 and we'll crank up the roughness to around 0.75 i'll also be using some distortion here as well so we need to flip this color ramp and then let's go ahead put a value of 65 and then 62 Now let's plug the color into the factor and we'll plug the principal VHDF into the shader node. Okay, so this is what our material looks like right now. Okay, so basically this is what's happening. We have a rock texture and we have a glue texture and we have a mask node set up here that controls where the glow is being seen we'll go ahead and frame this and label this as mask now we need a displacement setup for that let's go ahead and press shift a search for a displacement node now this displacement goes into the displacement of our material output duplicate these three nodes by pressing shift d press alt p to get it out of the frame 
we will change the values to around 0 0.57 and 0 0.6 we will plug the color into the height let's go ahead and preview our node so this is where the actual displacement will be happening on our texture we will go ahead and frame this as well the displacement node goes into the displacement of our material output and we will be mixing these two nodes using a mask node setup that somewhat looks like this now let's go ahead and set up our lighting for our scene we will be using the plane for our light along with an external HDRI first let's go ahead select the plane hit new we will be deleting the principal BSDF and we'll be adding a emission node and plug the emission into the surface we'll select this color and crank the value to around 50. now hop on into the world panel now press shift a search for an environment texture and add an hdri to the scene I'll leave a link down below for this HDRI that I've used from polyheaven.com. We'll put the strength to around 0.2. Now let's go ahead and preview what our setup looks like. Okay, so press Z key, hit the rendered view, and this is what our material looks like right now. You can adjust the scale and the color ramp for a better fall off. You can also adjust your lights in the walls tab, maybe give it more strength or change your strength value for your emission shader. Also switch over to the GPU compute instead of your CPU. Here's the entire node setup for our material. You can go ahead and pause the video and screen grab it if you need to. So here's a few cool pieces I made using this gluing rock shader. Head on over to my Patreon if you want this blend file for free. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.